<laughs> Just for good. They have a, a theater part. I'm supposed to stretch across here from one place to another place, but we're not using them. This is not the office, because Mr. Wright said, I leave my office and come home to my family. Bless his heart. So this was called the library or study, and there's much in this room that belonged to the Wright family. The day bed belonged here. Little Mary Fender that I'll talk about upstairs. When she was a little girl, she would visit with her parents or grandparents. Um, her mother was, no, her grandmother was one of the original ten children. Little Mary Fender could lie down on this day bed and take naps. Mm -hmm. This is original with the Wright family. Um, the family Bible. I thought it would be in German. I didn't dare open it up. One day I saw it open here, and my gosh, it's in English. Wow. Because mom and dad originally came from Prussia, now Germany. And I would imagine they, and they met in this country. Probably in some type of German fellowship society meeting. They came over as Catholics with strong German accents. And there would have been some resistance, depending on which war Prussia was in at the time, and so there were a lot of German um, Gemutlik type um, gatherings, and I'll bet they met at one of them. That's uh, John Augustus Wright Sr., the long, original lumber baron, and his wife Gertrude, the same met here in this country, got married in Evan, or, yeah, met in this country, got married in 1839 here in Evansville. Um, this is also original with the Wrights family. Um, bronze and marble, or sardonyx marble ink stand. And this is original. This is one of the world's first recliners. It belonged to Francis Joseph Wrights and his sister Julia did that work on the footstool. He could sit up to read, and if he got tired, this is a manual recliner. He would take the rod out of the back, move it back there, and he could take himself a little nap. So it's a recliner, it's just not um, electric operated one or even with the, with the shift lever. When we have to tell the kids, if I said it's a manual one, have you ever kids heard the word manual? No. How very many people? If it doesn't have a cord on it, it's because it's wireless. Um, and the, the ceiling in here is really fancy, completely covered with um, with uh, a molded plaster. It's called the Lincrusta Walton. It was in, invented by the son of the man who invented linoleum tile. Wow. He didn't want dad getting all of the patents, I guess, so he invented uh, something that's still a, it, it's supposed to be very strong, and what I've heard is the longer it's on the ceiling, 